Hello, my beautiful Aquarians. How are you? It is B, and welcome to your August 2023 reading. We are going to get right into it. Thank you so much for the likes, the shares, and the subscribes. I really do appreciate you. For those of you that wish to subscribe, please make sure you are clicking on that notification button, that little bell. Make sure that little bell is wiggling for all notifications so you get immediately notified when I post my video. For those of you interested in a membership to my website, you can go to the link below and get a membership there. For those of you that were selected for the August reading, free reading for my members, uh, you will be getting uh, notified on dates. All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and pre over the deck. Okay, Aquarius, what do we have going on with you? We are also going to pull your clarifiers. You get three clarifiers. You're telling me to skip each one. Got a clarifier here. Clarifier here. A clarifier for the fifth card as well. Find out what's going on with love for you as well, singles and couples. So love. What is all of this culminating into with the major arcanas? And what is your advice? Here's your advice. Okay. Messy here. You might be dealing with a mess right now for whatever reason, Aquarius. Just time to get reorganized and get everything cleaned up a little bit. There we go. All right, Aquarius, what is your first card opening up August? The Chariot. Yeah, I felt this. I felt like you guys are traveling. You're planning to travel. You're going to be traveling. You're victorious. You're moving forward. You are very directed into the into the um, the path that you're on. You're you've got your eye on the prize. You're keeping your eye on the prize. I'm hearing transportation, um, figuring out transportation. I'm hearing. might be dealing with a Cancerian person. You might be you might be telling other people where to put things, where to arrange things. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, new place, new surroundings, I'm hearing for Aquarians. Why is this here? Uh, Aquarius. Because Aquarius, you're you're just you're not feeling good where things are at right now. You feel like things are delayed, you feel like things are not meeting your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, and your goals. So you've decided to take things into your own hands. Or you've sent out energies into the universe to straighten things up for you and not worry about it so much. And then all of a sudden you're getting this, this energy coming in for you to say, okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to straighten this out for you. We're going we're gonna to manage this energy for you. This could also be that you want to move forward to your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, and your goals. And what's happening here is you are taking the reins. You are being the best Aquarius you can be 
to create these changes in your life. To move forward. What's the next card? Knight of Wands, definite travel coming in. Moving forward without delay. I'm hearing without delay, without delay, without delay. Something is changing in the month of August so that you can move forward so that there is no more delays. This could be an Aries Sag or a Leo person as well. I'm hearing no more delays. That's what I'm hearing. Next card, the world reversed. Something going on around you that isn't allowing you to complete a process, isn't allowing you to um, perhaps move forward. So some of you are absolutely moving forward, but others of you are blocking it for some reason from the final approach, from moving uh, towards uh, the finalization of a process goal, person, place, or thing. You're finally realizing that sometimes things are outside of your control, so you just you just give it to God. You just give it to the collective. Just give it to Source. And Source will take care of it. You don't need to worry about it. Because you know what direction you want to go. Why is this delay here? Why is this not able to complete a project, person, place, or love? You're still in love with something from your past that is causing you not to be able to seal the deal. Someone around you that you love it could be injecting some sort of energy here where it's causing um, a delay, a repercussion, um, Maybe even moving backwards. So maybe the feeling or maybe the desire to fix things possibly needs to be dropped so that you can focus more on love and what you love and your happy place than dealing with things that are possibly going on around you. And let go of that desire or that love to get things to move forward, to get things to flow forward. All you need to do is put it out to universe, drop it, and then let universe deliver for you. What is the next card for August? Ah, Ace of Cups. Yeah, love is definitely coming through here. So eventually you are going to understand how everything works and you are going to understand that once you let it go, once you believe that everything is gonna work out for you, love comes in, abundance comes in, great joy comes in, great happiness comes in, bounty, a new love in your life, a new love of something or someone, Traveling to go see someone that you love. Or traveling to go do something that you love. Maybe you are bored, Aquarius. You want to shake things up a little bit. You just want things to move forward. What's the next card? Yeah, Ten of Wands reverse. You're dropping the burden. You're dropping the feeling of heaviness, the feeling of being overwhelmed or exhausted. You're just you're letting it go. You're you're letting universe just do what universe does. Letting source do whatever source does. 
but the clue to get there is to drop that which no longer serves. Something you've been carrying around for a long time. Why are you dropping it? Ha ha ha. Self-value. You have self-value. You know your value. You know your worth. And this is important to you. And this is why you're saying, you know what, I, I can no longer take on your negativity, your burdens, your responsibilities. I'm going to take care of my own. These are the things I have to get done now. You're going to have to handle your own. You may have somebody helping you to get rid of something. Something that's been weighing you down, heavy, trash, overwhelmment, clutter. What is the last card for August? Eight of Cups, again, travel, following your North Star. Making sure everything is checked, 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 and rechecked and ready to go before travel commences. Before the movement forward commences. Making sure everything is, is where it needs to be. Waiting for the journey to begin. How is all of this transpiring for you? Ah, patience. Learning patience, learning how to mix and match, learning how to create solutions, maybe take a risk, maybe ask a few questions. I'm hearing a conversation where someone is saying, you know, how can we make this work for everybody? How can we do the right thing? How can we move forward with this travel, the plans for travel? How are we going to do this? Because I want to achieve my goals and I'm going to achieve those goals, but I need to find the balance and the patience in order to do so. I also have to drop a burden. I also have to let go with love those projects that have not yet been completed. They will take care of themselves in due time. What is your love energy? Gifts received, Aquarius. Gifts received. So Aquarius, you could be giving a gift to a significant other in the month of August. Maybe they have a birthday in August. You may be giving the gift. You may be receiving the gift, whether single or coupled. Getting a gift from the universe. Allowing the reception of all of the beauty, the love, the abundance, and the joy that universe has in store for you that source has in store for you. What is your advice? Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Here we go, right here. There you go. Remember what I said about dropping the burden, releasing that which does not serve you, letting that go? Because you have self-value. Releasing soul patterns, contracts from past lives, releasing that which may cause emotion in your life and, and walking away from it and moving away from it, letting it go with love.
realizing that by you hanging on to it has reversed your energy a little bit. But only by going through that contrast do you realize that you do have the power to move forward. Once you release that negative energy, Aquarius, everything is going to work out in your favor. And you will receive gifts from universe. Universe will line up for you to give gifts to individuals that match your experience, your type of environment, your type of energy signature you could be releasing yourself from something that you loved in the past maybe something that was overly emotional for you and you're saying I can't hold on to this anymore I'm, I'm I value myself too much for this. It's time for me to let this go. Let, let, let me leave this in the past. That's where it belongs. I have to focus on my future. I have to go towards my North Star. It's time for me to move forward. Wow. Aquarius, this is pretty significant. But I don't think I have anything else, Aquarius. So I'm going to let you go with this August 2023 reading. Um, when we get into the September reading, you will see the prior month's reading so we can refer back to it. And for the members out there, you are going to be getting your August and September extended reading all at the same time. So for those of you that have not joined my website to get a membership, you may want to consider doing that because there are more things I say in the extended reading than I say with YouTube because it's an extended reading, number one. Number two, you always want to listen to the YouTube readings because I may say something there that I don't say in the extended reading. Okay. All right, Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.